Hello everyone. So I'm here now in the clinic. So they're gonna take some blood work. And sorry for the noise. So I'm just gonna take a quick, quick, quick shot. There is a social distancing here. So I supposed to have a blood work in Lions Cancer Clinic, but because of the pandemic of the virus, I need to have that in the other clinic. So I'm just trying to be quiet. I need to wait for 10 minutes. So I just finished my blood work today. I supposed to have my blood work in the cancer uh, clinic, but because of the pandemic and the hospital been used for testing and also for um, some patients that really need uh, proper care. So I've been sent to have uh, blood work in the uh, other clinic. So I, I had mine in Quest Diagnostic. So they're gonna send it to the to my oncologist in which I do have appointment via um, FaceTime and of um, May and I do have also a cardiologist appointment on the 21st via um, face FaceTime I think or we need to call them if I, I need to go to the hospital because they're gonna do another EKG can just remove my mask. <laughs> I'm wearing my mask. So before I jump into the car, I already sanitize my fingers, my hands, until to the arm. I always have um, hand sanitizer, and this is my husband driving. And our monk, our little one is been out in the car seat, I need to buckle off her first. She's buckled. But She's I need to... Forward. Yeah. She's it's kind of sunny. Oh my, I'm so, I'm so pink. Okay. So, I'm gonna show to you guys the road here. <laughs> okay, wait, guys. So, most of the store here are open. So, Family Dollar is open. Asian Fusion, I think they're curbside pickup some of the store and this is a CVS pharmacy but this is not a CVS that I used to do my couponing and the road is so busy also there's a uh, the Nifty Fifty Shake Shack. What's that Nifty Fifty? It's where um, Michael and Cynthia get their milkshakes. Aww. Do you want some? I can get some. Okay, let's go. We get you a milkshake. Mika, you want milkshake? Milkshake. <laughs> milkshake. <laughs> we haven't had lunch yet. Do you want some lunch? Uh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry? Okay. So this is... What's that? Nifty, Nifty Fifties. Fifties. We're just yes. gonna wait here. What flavor milkshake do you want? Vanilla? Yeah. Mika, do you want vanilla too? Do you want vanilla milkshake ice cream? Okay, wait. I'm just gonna buy some here. You know if she sees you with one, she's gonna want one. Okay. Oh. I'll be right back. It's a good shirt. Mika, yeah, just gonna go inside. Your mask. I'm aware of the mask situation, dear. Yeah, they're just gonna buy some. Yeah. Milkshakes. What do they have? You want, you want to eat something else as well? I got it. Barbecue? I got it. They have I various got foods. It's a family restaurant. Yeah. If she sticks this stuff. Cheesesteak might cook. You want cheesesteak? I might try. It's not steak, it's cheesesteak. It's cut up meat and everything in, into a roll. Let's try. Do you want to try that? Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'll get you a cheesesteak. Anything on yours? Nope. No, just plain? Alright. Two plain Hi. cheese sticks and uh, two, uh, two vanilla milkshakes coming up. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Daddy's gonna buy a milkshake. Look, Daddy's there. 
Oh, they they are open. Oh yeah, they're open. So for almost two months, I'm not able to go to the hospital because of the situation in the hospital also. So it's been advised that um, um, since I just need to do the blood work and also the bone injection, um, the bone injection, they postpone it for a month. I supposed to have a bone injection every three months, but because of the situation in the hospital, my oncologist, uh, move it next month uh, and that is if uh, i'm allowed already if i can go already in the hospital if the hospital is clear from uh, virus so it's kind of hard because like um, my treatment yeah. also has been affected by the homestay but uh, what important is i can still uh, get the treatment that i need even i don't go to the hospital and <laughs> My daughter, my daughter is look Nika. She bring her um. We need to. We need to, no, don't do that. And then um, they reduce my chemo pills, the airbrines, from one hundred to seventy five milligram because my body cannot handle the seventy five uh, the one hundred milligram and um they want to make sure that uh, my blood work will really uh, work in the new prescription the 75 milligram and i will not suffer too much from the fatigue and exhaustion from the um uh, what do you call that chemo pills so for almost three years that i've been taking the chemo pills uh, the symptoms that I usually experience is like I'm uh, sometimes I'm having a nausea and sometimes I pass out because my body can't handle it. And then um, that's why there's so many times that my husband call a 911 and I need to be checked by the um, medical team. And there was one time that uh, I just need to. Uh, the phone though i just need to fill uh, up um waiver because i don't want to be in the emergency room because it scares me that i will get more of the virus in the emergency room than being staying at home okay so my husband is here what they said they said please wait in the car okay so it's like a curbside pickup well, they have a whole sign inside saying, um, curb dash this way. So there are, they have a lot of orders coming in from these third party delivery services. Yeah, it's kind of, um... Okay, let's not put the <laughs> phone out the window, please. Thank you. Let in the window, baby. Yeah, most of the... <laughs> My husband have not shaved yet, so... Yes, I'm bad with that. There's a cute dog in the car. Oh, the dog is so behave. Even the door is open. Yes, uh, the dog is not jumping. Yes, Look. Daddy. Look, Mika, there's a doggy. Yeah. The owner of the car is um outside. Outside the car is on the side and he's Here's waiting Daddy. for the food also. Here's Daddy. Thank you so much. Hi. Thank you. Okay, here's your milkshakes. Thank you. Here, please take that. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Please take it. And here are your French fries, Mika. Yes. Mika's French fries. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Okay, her ice cream. Uh -huh. Are you happy now? Okay. okay. So we're heading home now, guys. Uh, we just pick up some food because I don't have time now to cook. Um, I want to take rest after this. Okay, 
Okay, bye guys. So I'm waiting for my flower to bloom and I planted some marigold last week. And I add some fence on that. And this is our dog Yankee. And Mika's little playhouse here. So we did not buy this. We grabbed this in our neighbor's yard. Because we were showing the stuff. And we asked them if they can have it. Also this wagon and the little tax car. And Hi. Sit. Can you sit? Sit. Yes, you happy. Yes, happy. You wanna play? You wanna play? No, no, no. No one. No one. No one. No one. Okay. Good boy. Cheese. <laughs> that guy needs a shave. <laughs> He's still handsome, even. Hi, Mika. So it's a nice weather. How, what is the? Down, off me. Come on now. Let me change. What's the weather now? Warm. Warm. So this is my DIY pot, <laughs> my garden. So. I used the old dresser that we had because the base is beat up so instead of throwing the cabinet I used that for my vegetable I just planted it last week also and I hope that it will grow so I have like five boxes here We don't have much sunlight here that's why i cannot plant a lot so this is the only part that we have a nice sunlight and in the back fence most of the day uh, there is no sun because we have a very big tree so it's over also like almost our yard but it's nice because it gives us a lot of shade also in which um, our little Mika can play without burning too much in the sun. So we have here her own play set so that we don't need to go in the park. So I need to find some um, cover for the strap of the other swing because it's rusty. That's why we put it up also. Hi, Mika! Hi! Yay! Bouncy, 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 bouncy. What's inside the box, Mika? What's what inside that? the box? What is that? <laughs> what is, what's that? Hi, Yankee. Hi. So we bought another um, a, pan. A, a new skillet because we only have one and it's starting to wear down. So we figured, okay. In the first one we had a problem with when we we're trying to make stir fry it just goes over the edges so we wanted to get a uh, nice and deep one this time it's a good four or five inches tall plus it has a nice little lid for cooking um, and it's also non-stick so that with a good teflon cover in here so we're hopefully going to be in good shape for uh, making mm -hmm. food so let's go ahead and open her up what's inside mika you help yeah. So make a thing is is a gift. 
help daddy, please. Help daddy, please. Come over here. Okay. <laughs> What's that, Mika? Is that a gift? She's gonna be disappointed. <laughs> Well, it's not do hers. Yeah. <laughs> She's so excited and suddenly, Mom, what's that? This is a ceiling brace <coughs> to hold a ceiling fan. This goes on the upside of the ceiling. And then you, from the underneath the ceiling, from the top, from the bottom, you attach your ceiling fan. This holds it from the. Let's say, for example, in the upstairs room, you install this in the attic. Mm. Oh, no toy, Mika. No well, let's toy. show her what this looks like, shall we? Want to see what it looks like, Mika? Yeah. Okay. It's not very much fun to play with. Hi, Yankee. Hi. But uh, to show Hi, audience how this looks is I would take this up into the attic, clear out the uh, insulation, drill a hole through the ceiling, and wherever the hole is in the ceiling for where we're going to install the ceiling fan, I would put this on the hole and I would then stretch these out to uh, grab the sides of the, um, of the ceiling to try and leverage the weight of the ceiling fan here. And we do have the ceiling fan in the basement. We also have electrical wiring. Uh, now it's just uh, the matter of um, running the wiring to the wall, fishing it down to the outlet. And then once the wiring is in place, I can go ahead and uh, put this in and uh, install the ceiling fan. Can I say again this skillet? Can you open it? Of course. It's far more interesting, isn't it? Oh, uh, for the how many years? <laughs> hey, you can pr do it pretty well with that one skillet, you know? Because we don't toss Hi. stuff unless it's really useless useless we will make repurpose things for as long as we yeah. can look that's a very nice skillet look. this is glass mika i don't want you playing with glass all right where's the lid the lid is right here i don't want her playing with glass yeah it's nice okay so thank you so much thank you for watching Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Love you guys.